Today we're going to get a chance to check out the Slate Digital ML1 modeling microphone. Uh, two of them actually, stereo pair, specifically in the context of an acoustic guitar. I've got three guitars here. First one uh, is a Martin HD28, a beautiful steel string dreadnought. Second one is an old Alvarez classical that I've had in nylon string. I bought it like 10 years ago, it was used even then. And then finally, solid wood carved arch top guitar, an Eastman AR810. Huge guitar, 17 inch lower bout with flat wound strings on it. So three very different acoustic guitars that we'll listen to through the stereo pair. I'm gonna record a couple different samples on each instrument and then I will take that exact same file and just export it a couple different times through each of the microphone models uh, that we have access to in the basic pack that comes with the ML1s. I'll offer the, the timestamps in the description now if you feel like skipping to that point. Uh, right now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the microphones if, if you're not hip to them yet. Why I bought them myself, I have no affiliation with Slate. Um, what I'm using them for and why I like them. So a modeling microphone, what is a modeling microphone? It's exactly what it sounds like in the same way that a digital guitar amp modeler or an effects modeler emulates a bunch of well-known amps and effects. The microphone does the same thing. Now I do have a reasonable collection of dynamic moving coil mics. However, condensers are much more expensive and for the price of one decent condenser, you could get a pair of ML1s with the modeling software and you can have access to a bunch of different sounds. I'm not trying to say that the U87 model in the Slate is equally as good as a U87. I'm just saying it gets you kind of in that ballpark, that kind of sound. It's a great learning tool for sure. If you're not someone that has used a lot of the famous condensers out there, you can learn what each of them sound like and then someday when you have the money to invest in a proper condenser microphone collection, you know what you, what you like best, what is going to be most useful on different sources, what will sound good on a, on a certain type of instrument versus not sounding good on something else and you'll hopefully be able to make the best decision for your, for your money. I got into the Slate ML1 in the first place because I wanted to capture a lot of different impulse responses of all my different acoustic instruments. Um, and the, the way these work is that uh, you set up the microphone, you run into an interface. They do have a specific Slate interface. I didn't think it was worth it. It was a lot of extra money. And as long as you get something um, relatively flat, like I've got the SSL 2 Plus here, as long as you've got something relatively flat like this, it, it'll work. Uh, so you plug the microphones into the interface and then you run the modeling software as a plug-in versus I believe the Antelope requires like outboard gear. So you choose the model on the way in and you can't change it after that. There is one other modeling microphone system out there which is priced much higher than the Slate and I thought it wasn't worth it for the money, I'd just rather get a real condenser. So I hope that about sums it up. Uh, let's get into the different listening samples for the ML1s. Like I said, we're gonna record the same sample and just export it a bunch of different times with different modeling software. So real quick before we get started listening, I just want to show you what the software looks like. I use Logic, but these plugins will work on any DAW. You can see you also get some different choices here. In addition to the microphones, you get different choices for preamps. So we have a Neve 73 or an 1176 model. I'm gonna turn everything off except the microphone models. You also can choose between a couple different compressors, limiters, or, or saturators, stuff like that. Um, there's plenty of other stuff available through expansion packs, however I've not bought into anything yet. I've been happy with what, what comes with the microphone. Um, you should know that there's a parameter here that you can change the U47-ness of the microphone between 100% and 150%. So this is what we're going to listen to. We're going to listen to a model of a Neumann U47, a Sony C800, which I've used a lot on vocals, has a great quality to the, the upper kind of air frequencies. Uh, and then I believe, what is this? A Telefunken 251, a Neumann U67, an AKG C12 tube microphone, which is one of my favorite models. I probably use this one the most often on guitars, guitar amps and stuff. Um, and then actually a model of an SM7B, a Shure SM7B, which is a dynamic mic. Maybe one of these days I'll shoot out uh, the ML1 software against an actual SM7B. That'll be a cool topic for a video. And then we've got another version of a Sony C800 and then lastly a Neumann 269. So as we move through please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite microphone is on each of the different guitar samples. I've also left a link in the description if you want to learn a little bit more about the ML1. It's links to Zounds. So let's get listening. <laughs>
this video was helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. It helps me out and it also helps to promote the video to other people that might find it beneficial. It tells YouTube that this was at least a little bit useful. Uh, if you're thinking about purchasing the ML1, I've got an affiliate link down in the description. I get a small commission if you purchase through it. Uh, the link goes to Zounds. They have a great payment plan, a uh, great return policy if you decide you don't like it, and most importantly, uh, free one-day shipping to most places in the United States. So my advice would be to purchase an ML1 new, and if you like it, if you like the software, go on eBay or Reverb or something and buy a second one used for much cheaper, and you can still use the same software on it. Anyway, take care, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.